Yo, it's a fucking hot ass summer. But not hotter than this fire I'm about to bring you right now. Five colognes that you could wear during the summer. Cheapy edition. What's up guys? Welcome to another edition of Rose's World. As always, I'm your guy, Rose. I'm here today to give you five colognes that you can wear during the summer, but not for too much money so you can get these these are going to be cheapies that you can pick up either on like amazon or in the store whatever you can pick these up it's not going to put a hole in your pocket let's get right to it so these are not going to be any in any particular order i'm just go ahead and tell you about them first one up from the house of nautica we have nautica blue so this one is a citrusy fragrance this one has like bergamot peach and pineapple all right, now when it dries down, it turns into a musky, woody kind of dry down. So this one I use for when I'm not really going anywhere. I'm just gonna have a light day. I could be going to the gym or whatever, and I just wanna have something on. So this is what that's good for. Literally just to have something on um, so you can, you know, go out, not really go and do too much. The, uh, the distribution on this isn't too bad also. And I probably got this for, I think I bought this for like $10. It was like really cheap. I got it on Groupon, so it smells pretty good. Um, it's okay. Like I said, it's a cheapie. Nothing special, right? Next one up from the House of Banana Republic, we have Modern. This one has a nice opening of like an aquatic opening. Then you have a woody dry down. This one you can wear to the office. It's very good for that. Uh, you can also wear this around the house or just out and about uh, having a really light day. You don't plan on doing much. So that's what this is good for. It's not too strong. It's not offending. And you know, it smells great. So third up from the house of Kenneth Cole, we have Mankind. You have cardamom in the opening. You have a uh, tarragon leaf. Who knows what the fuck that is? If you know, if you know what the fuck tarragon leaf is, or am I even pronouncing that right? Put it down in the comments because I'm really not even sure what the fuck that is. However, it smells great. If you know what it is, let me know in the comments because I have no clue what the fuck it is whatever ginger pineapple uh and then on a dry down you have like cedar vetiver and cinnamon this is actually also good for like the office or just out and about just having another light day a lot of these are gonna be just for that because they're cheaper fragrances so but this is actually really good i'm actually almost done with the bottle same as with the last one from banana republic i had this one for a while and i really do like it next one lacoste essential sport now this one has like nutmeg amber patchouli bergamot it has a citrusy opening juniper pit and pink grapefruit so again this one is like a citrusy opening it smells like it smells really good the uh distribution is okay nothing too special i have no idea where the fucking top went either like i don't know i i tend to lose a lot of them <laughs> I don't know where it went, but whatever. It's still good. Um, you know, it's not spraying by itself. It kind of just sits on my dresser. I use it sometimes. I didn't really like this one when I had first got it. When I got this as a gift, now um, I actually tend to like it a little bit more. I got this a few years ago, actually. So I've had it for quite a while. Again, I, I guess I put kind of a dent in it over a couple years. But still, I, I wasn't too much of a fan when I had first got it. But I do like it now. I like this one a lot now. And lastly, from the house of Burberry, we have Burberry Touch for men. This one is really good for like more of a heavier day. Like say you're gonna be doing stuff and you're gonna be going out and you're gonna be seeing a couple of people. You're gonna be, you know, going to like a gathering or a get together or whatever the case is. You could do that with this one. Be careful with how much you actually spray. Less is more with this because I do feel like Burberry Touch is a bit stronger than the rest of the ones that I was just talking about. It does have a decent distribution. You have a fresh, spicy opening. Violet leaf, mandarin, orange, tonka bean, vetiver, and white musk in it. You get that fresh, spicy opening and then it dries down to like a, like a musky dry down. A lot of the time this stuck with me on my clothes and I never really had to reapply and this lasts for like hours. I would get really good longevity out of this. I do recommend this. Um, I did put a dent in it. I don't use it all that much. So uh, these are my thoughts. These are five cheap colognes that you can get. You can probably get these for $30 or less. So definitely check these out. If you haven't looked at these, I would recommend to go and do so. These are very good scents. Something if you don't want to spend a lot of money, you don't want to be breaking the bank. That's okay. You can check these out and these will be 
really good for you. So if you haven't smelled them, go and get your nose on it, check it out, and uh, let me know what you think. Write down in the comments, what do you guys use uh, for the summertime? If you don't really want to spend a lot, what are your most favorite summertime fragrances? Drop it below, let me know. Just remember to like, comment, and subscribe, all right? Subscribe!